Hey guys, so today we are doing a tutorial on this hairdo. I have a shorter hair than allows for a sock bun, but I figured out an easy alternative to kind of create the body of a bun without actually having the hair for it. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so today I want to do a video for my hair. And I have let it air dry and there's not really um, any product in it other than um, heat protectant spray. And I wanted to put this in before because I was going to blow dry it, but I let it air dry instead because um, I had the time and I figured it's probably the best way to um, take care of my hair. Uh, so what you're going to need for this hairstyle is you're going to need a flat iron. The one that I'm using is uh, Lena Salon Tools. I honestly got it because the it's pink and black and white. It's horrible, I know. You're also going to need a comb to tease, which I'm using a red one. Then you're going to need some hairspray. I'm using big, sexy hair. Then you're going to need some bobby pins. You're also going to need a hair tie. So what you want to do is you want to put your hair up into a high ponytail. And you want to make it as sleek as possible. So I'm going to grab all my hair and put it up. Now my hair used to be a lot shorter and I managed to do this look with sh a little bit shorter hair. So this is perfect for people who really want to try the style out but they don't have enough hair to support it. So you could totally uh, achieve this if it's at least medium length I think. And you want to get it pretty high so that's where I have it right now. Now I'm going to hairspray everything afterwards so everything is sleek looking and stuff, but this is generally what the ponytail looks like. So what I like to do is I like to do a faux bun. How do you do a faux bun? So with my flat iron, I'm going to take one inch section and what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl it under. Now I'm going to do this for all of my hair all the way around. So this is all of my hair just curled. It doesn't need to be perfect only because we're going to be doing other stuff to it. So, But this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray right at the base of the hair where the hair tie is. And there's a reason why I'm going to do this and I'm going to show you now. Taking my comb, I'm going to back comb, back comb, not back comb, <laughs> um, each section to give it a little body. But I'm going to leave the ends curly. Now this is going to serve as the body of the bun without having all of the hair for it. So what you're going to want to do is take the sections and tuck the end of your hair under towards the hair tie. And then you're going to secure it with a bobby pin. And then once you're done, you could fluff it out since you don't have a full body of hair, but since you backcombed it, it should give a substantial amount just so that it could look full. And once I'm done with the bun, I like to spray the sides. Alright guys, so that's pretty much for this hair tutorial. I hope that this has helped you out some, especially with the a bun for shorter hair. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please ask away, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.